if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, it's Shane from HowToWrench.com and we're going to bring you another little free video today, a little tip video. I'm um, getting ready to work on uh, a couple more uh, of our Enduro Street Bikes. We got one of them done back there and I got two left to get ready for a ride. I'm super stoked about being able to get to do some off-road riding. It's actually pretty new to me. 20 years ago, a kid in the Midwest, I uh, you know did a little bit of dirt bike riding. It was nothing super special about but if you didn't have a friend with a track or land or whatnot it was kind of hard to access and so i geared more towards uh street riding touring racing superbike racing things like that uh because it like i said it just wasn't super easy to access and uh and get out there in the midwest but here in arizona stupid cool look at this thing they got these uh off-road parks and they are like everywhere it blows my mind how much land you can go ride and then on top of it you take these you know street legal motorcycles and it's just stupid fun i mean i i can't believe even having worked at suzuki how much i took for granted the uh d the drz 400 in a enduro form i was like oh, i've rode supermoto it's stupid fun probably get a million tickets on that thing but i just can't believe what a capable bike this is it's been super fun the desert and then uh we've been absolutely loving the tws bought one for my girlfriend many you've been following lowered it uh did a complete set of videos coming out for that every kind of maintenance you could think on it i liked it so much i bought one for myself just these fat tires make it just so let me show you the rear make it so stupid fun to ride in really loose sand in the desert and electric start street legal I, I my mind's blown on these like how fun they are when you ride you know leader super bikes and then you think how much fun are you gonna have on a on a dirt bike believe me you're gonna have a great time so uh i really want to make this video for a couple reasons i had a, a, rec a subscriber reach out and say hey we noticed you started selling videos are you still going to have any kind of free content what's the best way to access you know all of it and so we want to say absolutely. I mean, every day I walk into the shop, I, I usually state right now, I have hundreds of hours of video already shot and recorded. And I'm like, I don't need to grab a camera. I could sit at a desk and make videos for the next six months if I didn't have a full-time job uh, on top of it. And I would never run out of material. I have that much. But what happens is exactly what's happening right now is we still have a lot of do-it-yourselfers and a lot of people that are trying to get better in their craftsmanship. And so I always start the day off, no, no, I'm not gonna make any videos today. And here we are, I'm getting ready to leave for a trip. I need to be getting on that. And I'm grabbing the camera and going, oh, cool, I should show this. Because on this guy, on the TW200, I just ran into that, that's why we do what we do kind of thing. Like that's why, you know, whether you're do-it-yourself or pro, you should be doing these kinds of checks. So. This video is going to be another free one. We can't thank you enough for subscribing, being here, all that stuff. We hope you're loving uh, the model-specific stuff. We've already, already gotten a ton of good feedback on people going, man, that's awesome. I can just go right to my bike and grab that. And as we produce those, we think it's going to be really helpful for people. I mean, even the video we made uh, a couple days ago when I was five bucks, five bucks for a tip that will save you crazy years off your life of stress, crazy service calls, things like that. So we still think we're in the game of being super helpful and super reasonable, but why don't we get to this bike and show you what I got going on and have another free tip of the day for you. So let's do it. All right. I'm trying to do this without any editing too, so uh, bear with me. But uh, I'm doing full service valves, uh, air filters, uh, fuel filters, obviously oil filter, uh, cables, lubricating cables, adjusting cables, checking out lights, making sure everything works, you know, tires, brakes, you know, the whole nine yards. And I can't stress enough that when you go to approach a project like this, the first thing you should do is yank that battery out and charge it. And a lot of people say, well, why should I take it out? Maybe I'll just leave it in there. It's maintenance free, blah, blah, blah. You can kind of get away with it on a maintenance free if you want because there's no fluid to check, right? So like kind of, but what I don't like about that is you don't really get a chance to really check the case and, and see if the case is swollen or if there's any problems there. Because one of the things that I'm gonna do after I do all those checks is I'm gonna check the charging system. I don't wanna be out in the middle of the woods and have 
uh, a dead battery because I didn't know my charging system wasn't work. So my complete service is going to include those uh, checks, if you will, so I can feel good about getting out there. Same thing I do for a customer, same thing I do for myself. So I'm a huge fan of pulling the battery so I can get a really good look at it. I could check the battery rubbers in there, if there's straps, anything in there, make sure nothing's goofy or going on because another thing I don't want is the, the battery rattling to where that it can work the, the cables loose and then give me a problem on the trail where maybe I better have tools with me to pull a cover or whatnot and access it. But all kinds of problems if you simply just don't check it. But the reason, like I said, I grabbed the camera is check out this TW200. We, uh, I just pulled the battery out of it. She's got a big old uh, stock battery. It's a wet battery. The battery strap was in great condition. Happy about that. Cables were loose, okay? So bike is new to me. Uh, it is a, you know, a rigid mounted, you know, 200 cc motor that it vibrates and are they, were they loose because of routing? Were they loose just because of lack of tech, technician? You know, those are the questions you want to ask yourself. So when I go to put the battery back in after charging it, I will address that and look at the routing and go, am I happy with that? But take a look at the battery. Let's hop over here. Ready to go. But this was, once again, why I said pull the battery, check it out. Haven't rode for, I wish I knew the exact date. I don't think we've rode for, you know, it's about 120 degrees here in Phoenix for like 60 days straight, I swear. Uh, we haven't rode for a couple, I don't think it's been two months, but it's been for sure 30 days or so. And the first thing I'm seeing, let's get my, let's get this on here better. Well, that is goofy as can be. Okay, bad connections. There we go. Battery's obviously stupid low. If you haven't watched all our other videos on charging systems and whatnot, on a wet battery, 12.6, a little quick recap here. 12.6 is fully charged. 12.4 would be 75%, but it doesn't go down like you think. You don't need half a 12.6, you know, to be at 50%. It'd actually be 12.2 then. So 12.6, 100%. 12, uh, 4, 75, 12, 2 is uh, 50%, 12 volts, zero. I mean, so like, I mean, this battery is significantly drained, but one of the first things I'm noticing is how low it is on uh, battery acid, okay? So this could be a problem. Once again, I don't wanna get out there and have any problems or anything else, but you gotta ask yourself, why is this happening? So this is gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna, uh, the battery's not swollen. It doesn't look like it's super sulfated. If you don't know what sulfation is, it's where this will be like crazy white. You can see a little bit of it happening there. But I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my favorite chargers or brands. This Optimate has a battery a desulfating charger, has a save feature. I'm gonna fill it with distilled water, charge it up, get it in shape, see if it'll load test. Then I'll use the Top Don load tester. We got all these videos for free on here. This was a way cool uh, tool we got last year. It's a, a battery checker. It even checks the internal resistance and everything. But like, like you guys that are fans on here, you know, stuff, stuff we do all the time. But I just thought, you know what? Maybe it's a good reminder for a, a bunch of fans that are on here that, hey, you know what? It's a good idea to take the battery out, check it, see what's going on with it, and then don't get yourself any problems, you know, on the road. No one wants to be stranded. So that's uh, definitely what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that battery uh, in shape good enough to test it and then go about checking the rest of it. And I can't stress enough, you gotta, you gotta see it through. So when that battery gets back in here, I need to make sure and test the charging system. When you have a battery like that where the water level, the battery acid, if you will, the water level is significantly low like that, there's a really good chance that the charging system is overcharging the battery. Now, in operation of the spike, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't have any blown uh, light bulbs. I don't have any other problems. Uh, the last time I parked this, it started with the battery. There were no issues. So I'm gonna be hopeful that uh, it's, Phoenix and got hot and boiled out. Maybe it'll make me switch to a maintenance free just because of that. But just wanted to make a point that you have to check. You have to, you know, look at what you're doing and find out what's going on. And then you can reduce your breakdowns and so on. So I'm at the point where I'm starting to ramble. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to call it a day with you on this video. 
Yes, I made another one. Yes, we still got great free content. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so yet, like, share, all that good stuff. Make it a great day. Please join the channel to support us. As always, keep wrenching, and I'm going to get back at and get ready for my trip. Thank you.